What are you cooking? Oh, oh gosh, I'm not on mute. Oh, oh gosh. I'm cooking chicken, cauliflower fried rice. Oh, I got to turn that off now. Okay, guys. Okay, so I'm really excited for everybody to be here. Thank you guys all for joining. This is our one shot, the way I look at it. This is, I want everybody on this call. I want to change everybody's life. And I'm so pumped up about Monations, guys. Every single person here can be walking across that stage next year. Every single person. And we're gonna talk about, about it. We're gonna support each other. I wanna do everything I can to see every single one of you walk across that stage. So we're not messing around. This is go time. We're gonna talk about it all. Um, I wanted to give everybody a chance to join. Um, so I wanted to play that that song that you can't walk away from that song without being ready to take your shot. All right. So I want to, I want you guys to be there with me taking our shot and uh, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to start right now and we are not going to stop. Nobody is going to stop until we get our goals. And I don't know what that is for everybody, but we're not going to stop. So I'm going to do, I'm going to share one more thing. And um, it'll hopefully set the stage for what's to come. Um, I'm going to say one thing before I move on and share that. I am doing a raffle at the end of this. It is you know, a choice of, and I'm, I'm making this a choice really for the Canadians out there. It's a choice of wellness shipped to your house from me or a Monations 2022 ticket. Okay, so I'm giving away one of those two things. Uh, you guys will be able to decide, but I definitely wanted someone from Canada to win some wellness. <laughs> um, okay, the other thing I'm giving away, uh, well, I wrote down in the note that I'm gonna give away one-on-one -on -one coaching, but screw that. You want one-on-one -on -one coaching, message me. Every single one of you, one-on-one -on -one coaching, I have no problem with that. I have no problem helping you succeed and meet your goals. And that doesn't mean one time either. It means let's go, let's do this. Let's get your goals. Let's get you walking across that stage. Um, and then the last thing, and this will probably be the real brand prize. Okay. The, I'm giving away, and you're not going to know what they are until somebody wins them and they show up in their mail. I'm giving away five Monations unique special commemorative gifts that I'm gonna to send to five of you. Only five, nobody else in the world will have them and it'll be for you guys, but you'll, when you get them, you're gonna, you're gonna know you wanted it, okay? All right, so with that, I'm gonna get started and I see we got a lot of people on here. Um, I haven't been checking the chat, so if any, anybody has any questions, um, <clears throat> put it in the chat. I'll try to uh, I'll try to pay attention to that before we're through. <clears throat> um, that's right. I, we're going to see those goals. I want to see everybody's goals. So, first things first. I'm going to start you out with one more thing that I just I had to share. This for me was something else. I hope you guys are ready for it. You can write everything down. You can write everything down if you want to. Be brave enough to write every one of your goals down. But I'm going to tell you something. Life's going to hit you in your mouth and you got to do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knocked out. And I love it. Buster Douglas got knocked out. Nobody ever got knocked out by Mike Tyson and ever got back up. It was almost a 10 count. He was stumbling. They were four, three, two. 
One, ding, 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 saved by the bell. He goes to his corner, the whole world is like, yep, that's it. Once he comes back out, that's it. Mike's gonna just hammer him. And exactly that, Mike Tyson came out like, I got him. I got this kid up against the rope. Listen to me, many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up, you can't give in. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, I need you to do what Buster Douglas did. Buster Douglas start fighting back. The world was shot. <gasps> Goliath has been knocked down, what happened? And they went to Buster Douglas and they asked Buster Douglas simply like, what happened? And Buster Douglas said, listen to me, it's real simple, before my mother died, she told the whole world that I was gonna beat Mike Tyson. And two days before the fight, my mother died. Buster Douglas had a decision to make. When his mother died, he could die with his mother, or he made a decision, I can wake up and I can live for mom. Your why is gonna push you when you can't push yourself. Cause some days you gonna say, I don't wanna get up. But that why is gonna say, I'll push yourself, get up. Your mama needs you, your daddy needs you, your children need you, get up. When you wanna quit and give up, your why is gonna give you that lift that you need to get to the next level, your why. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You've been through so much hell. You don't quit now, it's the 10th round. You got two more to go. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. It's about you won't break me. You can't take me. I fought too long, I fought too hard. I'm unbreakable now. Everybody can stand up and do good when everything is all good. Everybody can smile when the sun shines. Everybody can do right when everything is going right. Everybody can do that. But everybody can't face opposition, adversity, and challenges and say, I've been waiting on you to come. I'm going to embrace you, and I'm going to figure out a way to use you because you will never turn me into a different person. You will never make me a person that people don't recognize before the adversity. When life knocks your butt down, I need you to get back up, and I need you to go heavy on it. When uncertainty creeps in, I need you to get up and get right back on the thing that knocked you off, and I need you to go heavy on it. When something doesn't turn out the way you want it to turn out, I need you to attack the very thing that didn't turn out the way that you wanted to turn out, and I need you to go heavy on it. It's never about the competitors. It's about what we possess and what we do. Learn to be your own booster. Start building yourself up. Start encouraging yourself. Start saying, I can do this. I can make this happen. When I start trying to convince myself I can be a businessman after flopping and failing and losing thousands of dollars and feeling stupid and dumb, I had to talk to myself because people were saying to me that I was dumb. I had to say, no, 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 Les. Hey, hey, come on, man, get yourself together. You can handle this, you just haven't figured it out yet. It's all right, this is your training period. This is a tuition you have to pay for what you don't know. You got to say yes to your life. You got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes, yes. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes. Okay, guys. Anybody ready for it? <laughs> I'm telling you, I found that and I said, oh my gosh, there is no stopping me. There is no stopping you guys. Oh man, yeah, there is. There is no stopping us. You guys can get anything you want. And we're gonna talk about exactly how, okay? But it all comes down to exactly the essence of that video. If you ever doubt yourself, you're gonna watch that video again. If you ever think I can't do it, watch that video again. Put on that song. Those, those things tell you like it is. This is your life. This is what you want. You will, if you want it, there is no way you can be stopped if you want it. Okay? So the first thing I wanted to talk about in any of this is the decision. And Mel Robbins talked about this or... I think it was Mel Robbins at this stage. I'm getting a little blurry on it, 
but it was about deciding. Every single thing we just talked about was about deciding. I want you guys to make the decision right now on this call, you're watching this video, whatever it is, I want you to decide. This is the last time you're ever, well, the last time you ever failed is behind you. This is the time you're going to succeed. You are not going to quit. You are not going to slow down. You're not going to say, I'm too tired. This is the one. You're going you're gonna to realize those dreams. And I want you to figure out what your dreams are at the end of the day. And I want you to think as big as possible. I'm telling you, every single one of you, easily, every single one of you guys, and there's about 200 people on this call, I want to see every single one of you in Miami. There is no reason why this entire team can't make it to Miami. Every single one of you. I want to see a lot of you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the limits of anybody. And I'm not even going to say there's a limit here. I want to see a ton of you make it to Cancun. If you've never been an MM before, that means getting to MMM. And you're in Cancun. I'm going to tell you, these, these trips are like no other. If you got excited at Monations, imagine sitting in a room, a small room with Ray and Stuart, and they're telling you, this is what our strategy is for 2022. Do you think this is a good idea? Do you think this is going to work? That's what's in Cancun. And believe me, they spoil the crap out of their market partners that go to Cancun. It's MMM. And I want you to think about that. It's not impossible. Okay, and we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about that. If your goal, if you, go, if you get to Miami, if your goal could be, now's the time, no matter what, I'm gonna earn my Cadillac. I want to earn that car. These goals and these gifts and these, these incentives are so big and they're there for the taking. You've got this. Who's going to earn a Cadillac? Let me see some hands up. I saw everybody's going to Miami with me. Look at all those hands. This is 100% possible, guys. You should all have your hands up unless you already got your Cadillac. Someone told me earlier today, I don't really want a Cadillac. I'm going to tell you right now, I want a free car. And when I sit in a Cadillac, I feel like a million bucks. That's right. Directors on the table. When I say walk across the stage, next one year from now, Roxy got the director in 10 months. This is not impossible. What's possible is you working every single day like you haven't worked before. You know it. You know when you've take, taken a seat back and go, oh, well, that's hard. I got one too many no's. You know it. Don't, we're done with that. If you want, if you guys want it bad enough, if your why is important enough in your life, you will get out of bed. You'll work this business. You'll come home tired from work. And you'll be tired. And you'll say, I want this so bad. It's okay to be a little bit tired. Don't stop. Okay? Don't stop. If you, if you fail one day, if you can't make it one day, you say, I can't do this job one day. Tomorrow. Don't let it drag you down. Do it the next day. Don't take that week. Don't take that month. You don't have time. We all don't know when our clock is up, okay? We don't know. I do know, and everybody here who has kids knows, 
though the clock is ticking on those kids living in your house with you every day. You want to change their life? You want more time with them? Monate gave me the largest gift that anybody can ever get from a company. Hands down, Roxy never quit. She got beat up a bunch. She never quit. She wanted to quit. She talked to me about quitting. She called Stuart and said, I give up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the reality is that was a moment. That was an afternoon. That was an hour. And she was right back in the fight because what she wanted for her family was way too important. What she gave to me was she retired me from my business. And I spent the last two years of her life with her every single day, loving on her and being loved by her. That, that is a, that is a priceless gift. I don't know what your story looks like. I don't know where you're, where the next chapter of your story is going to take you. But I know that you can make this, you can impact your story like Roxy impacted our story. I could have been working some meaningless job, 70 hours a week, making a decent paycheck for what? To not spend that time with my wife? I don't want you to lose any more time. You've lost enough time. I don't care who you are on this call. You've lost enough time. It is now the time to get there. It is now the time to say, my why is too important. I can't quit. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to work it every day. I did, I did have a couple more things on my list of why incentives. And there are a lot of people that uh, took, it, took it the opportunity when I, uh, I took off my MDC jacket. A lot of people were trying on that MDC jacket. It is, listen, Monate spends money on those jackets, man. This is a, the, the best of the best Hugo Boss coat you can get. I know because I had to buy a smaller one. I had to pay for it myself. <laughs> and it costs a fortune. <laughs> and all I know is, they tried it on. And you know what? It's not impossible. It's a real goal. Can it happen in a year? You know what you can do? You could figure out a plan on how to make it happen in a year. And either you, you fail unbelievably well, meaning maybe you get to some ridiculous number. Maybe you go you, you, you go to the half a million dollar club. I think you'd be excited about that. Nobody would call that a failure, but you can aim that high. You can work that hard. You can make this happen. Okay. So, so what is it you got to do? What is it you got to do to make this happen? I already told you the first part. You've got to decide. You got to decide there's not an obstacle or fear that is larger than my why. I want you to write that, write your why down. I want you to see it every day. I want you to live it. I want you to know when that alarm goes off and you're tired or you're about to lay down after work and you're tired. I want you to five, four, three, two, one, go after your goal and your why. That is exactly what that's designed for five four three two one i'm not done with my why you can you can blow it off but you're you're not hurting anybody but your why and you know you want this why i know every single one sed gold one million a month one million a monthly sales stacy holy crap <laughs> 1 million in monthly sales. Oh, okay. That's, I, that's not commission. <laughs> I thought you make commission. That would be something. Wow. Wow. You know, when we are, we are a $2 billion company, 
that could be real. You, you guys, you guys get to get to director level. You're earning six figures. You get to director level now, before we're a $2 billion company, your salary grows four times what it will be at least when we get to $2 billion. You get to $2 billion, you get to a director, you're gonna make six figures. We get to 2 billion in two years, you are gonna increase that by four times at least. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that's my, my goal is much bigger than that. My goal is impossible this year. Brittany said it to me and I go, Brett, that's impossible. I, I said those words. I said, that's impossible. I said, there is no way that's possible. And I, and I said, wait a minute, what do I have to do? How do I make that possible? I'm gonna tell you right now, I still don't know, but I know how to, I know how to get a lot closer. So I'm gonna share with you mine. There's two things on there, I can't see. That is an impossible goal for me in my mind. And the last one is how to be, how do I want to be remembered? That is always on my goal. So how in the world could I possibly get to $5 million club? It's exactly what I want to talk to you guys about your goal. Your goal should feel as hard as that. By the way, I, in the seven years we've been in business, we are at $2.5 million. That means between now and next Monations is when we want to hit $5 million club. That means we basically have to double what we've done so far. That feels impossible to me. But I'm asking you guys to do even bigger dreams than that. If you're an MMB, I'm asking you to get to MMM or MM or director. It's not impossible. Those are big goals. It's all really possible. But how do you do it? How do I, how do I get to $5 million club? And that's what it comes down to. For me, I already know the first step, but I'm going to skip to the punchline for a second and tell you this, the next step. The next step of getting to the $5 million club or Miami or Cancun or walk across that stage, the next step in that is actually looking at your organization and your numbers. You've got those all in reports. And I want you to write them down on, on something. You can do a piece of paper. I have put this together for me. I've got all the... I've got all the, I've meant to say Vegas as well. That's another incentive, right? Here's all the incentives. And I wrote, I wrote on this, on this side, I want to, if somebody was MMB only, perhaps they want MMM by 1231, that gets you Cancun, and walk across the stage is AED by 731. You're right. I love seeing you, you you're going for it. These are not impossible goals. $5 million club for me, near impossible in my mind, but I know how to do it. I'm going to tell you guys how to do it. Okay. I'm going to write down on a piece of paper like this, and I've started doing this. Um, my organization, what do I need to get to that goal? I mean, it's going to sound a little ridiculous for me, for my goal. So I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to get specifics. I'm going to use an example in a second to make it more real for all of you. But it's write the plan down. Somewhere on my plan, I need someone I love to hit SED. In fact, to get to $5 million club, I probably need five people that I can point to on this call to get to SED. And I know their plan, when they write down their plan, their plan's going to already say SED. Uh, it's not my goal for them. You cannot tell your market partner what their goal is. 
you guys can write on your plan what you'd like their goal to be. And then you're going to talk to them. And you're going to have a conversation like this. And you're going to get them to get their plan done. And you're going to get them to get their plan done by tomorrow. We are not messing around here. We have one year to get you to walk across that stage. I want you to have SED too. So you've got to start now on your plan, tomorrow on their plan. Talk to all your market partners. Go through the organization. And guess what? If somebody's going to be an SED, that means they're going to have eight legs of MMB. They're going to have two directors and six MMBs. On their sheet of paper, they're going to look at their organization and say, who wants director? They're going to put that name there. Who wants director? They're going to put that name there. Who wants MMB? They're going to keep going through the list. They're going to get to the last MMB and say, uh-oh, I don't have anybody who wants MMB. Or this girl here doesn't really have a goal or a dream big enough to get to MMB. So what am I going to do? I'm going to write, I got to find me a new person. I got to do it anyways. I am going to find me a new person. I am going to talk to them. I'm going to elevate these conversations with them. I'm going to talk about the plan. I am not messing around with, hey, work it as best you can. I want to attract somebody who wants to work with me. Before they sign on, I'm going to say, this is hard work. Are you ready? I want you to do this before we even start. I want you to hit MMP in, in the next two days. I want you to hit MMB in the first month. It's all really possible. Your attitude, it's about your mind. It's about your mind. Is your mind right? If you join this business and someone told you, by the way, when you join Monet, the very first two days, in the first two days, everybody hits MMP. Everybody. You just do it. Here's what you go do. You have to work your butt off to hit MMP in two days. That's what you have to do. That's just how it is. You want to be part of Monate? You have to hit MMP in two days. Sounds hard? It's not. It's called reaching out to the people that you know, love, and trust that probably need it. You know they already need it. It's not about spending hours in the back office. Not yet for that person. And then you say, well, you know what else? As soon, if you think about it, because you just got two, mark, two MMPs, or you'll get an MMP in two, two days, the people you just hired should get the MMP in two days. It's just how it is. It's non-negotiable. This is just how the business runs. Go into it with the mental capacity that it, this is how it happens. They don't know any different. They don't know it's supposed to take six months. Set the standard. Exactly, Stacy. They don't know it's supposed to take forever to hit MMB. They don't know any of that. If you tell them, if you tell them, this is, this is it. This is how we work. Before they sign up. They're, they'll be they'll be on fire. You'll get them rolling, and you'll do it the way that we're talking about. Okay. So the first thing we want to we you talk to them about is you're going to get them to tell you you're going to get them to make the decision that when they hit that submit button, they're deciding. So if so if so if somebody wants to be SAD and they don't have an MMB potential, they're going to go get a new one. They're going to get them to decide before they press that button. I want your decision. You could play those two videos. <laughs> I want your decision. And the expectation is two days MMP. I'm gonna tell you right now, there are some of those girls in Miami, just do it. They, they, they tell them, oh yeah, you're just supposed to hit MMP in two days. And guess what happens? They hit MMP in two days. They might fail at MMP in two days and hit it in four days. It's just because they think that's what you're supposed to do. Somewhere in our heads, we don't think that way. That changes now. We have no more time. Your goals are too important and your why is too important to take any more time at this. 
I want you to throw away any negative thoughts you have about the possibility of doing it. And I want you to just do it. Okay. Um, then I want you to do this. I want you to do this for yourself. Okay. I want you to take a look at your, you all have a work schedule. You all have responsibility schedule. We'll, we'll call them kids. Okay. Uh, life's little um, interruptions. All right. And you've got those schedules. Work, work is work. I get it. So between the hours that are already locked up like that, there are hours in the day that you have available. I want you to write 100% of those hours down. What are those hours? Write those down. And I'm talking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And if your husband doesn't support you, then talk to him about your goal, our goal. It's your family's goal. Is it important? Does he want to keep working? Do you want to retire him in September of next year? Would he like that? When you're making a six-figure salary that is going to quadruple within two years when Monade hits $2 billion? That's the life that he probably wants. So you just got to explain to him what you're doing. Okay. And again, it's, you can decide, like, I, I think Liz Lugo said, you can decide on wh whatever work-life balances. You can go out drinking all night. You can do all those things if that's your priority. But today you're deciding that's not your priority. Your priority is to make this happen. And you're going to have to put some hours in. You're going to have to in, in teach your MPs everything I'm telling you, like it's just non-negotiable. And you can call me and get me on a call with your MPs anytime you want. You can do all of that. That's what my job is. How do I want to be remembered? I want to be the re remembered as the one that got you help in getting your dreams. And I mean those dreams where God forbid something happens in your family, but you had an amazing set of years of time that you had unprecedented time with your loved ones, whether it's your kids going off to school, whether something more tragic happens. I want that for you. And I want you guys, that's how I want to be remembered. Um, so I want you to get your work schedule. I want you to write down those hours that you're going to spend on Monet. Okay, so that's the hours part of it. What is the work you're doing? What is the work you're gonna go do during those hours? I'm gonna tell you right now, we all got, we've got market partner official. We've got super Saturdays and Sundays and training here. And, you know, we've got, I'm gonna tell you right now, yesterday with Instagram, God forbid, I've started using Instagram. I'm gonna shoot myself in the head. I've never been so busy in my life trying to figure out what dress somebody wore yesterday. <laughs> Just wait until they get to TikTok. I've been on TikTok. I have a TikTok. I did a TikTok, but I'm not in love with it. I, I don't know. <laughs> but the bottom line is this. The bottom line is this. That is not working your business. Sorry, people. It's not working your business. There is one thing, as far as I'm concerned, constitutes working your business. And that is sharing somebody the opportunity to have the best hair in their life, the best skin, skin in their life, the best wellness in their life, and maybe the best pocketbook in your life. That's the act of what you're doing. Everything else that supports your business is getting to the point where you've got somebody there to consult with and try to get to join Monet. And I'm going to, I'm going to tell you again, I've said it a thousand times. You are not connecting with that person because you want to make 15 bucks in commissions off that person. That's not why you're connecting with them. You're connecting with them because you're, you, you're in line at Starbucks and you looked at their hair and said, Oh my God, <laughs> I can help this person. I want to help this person. I want to help this person 
make their next mortgage payment. I want to help this person have beautiful hair. I, I said this to some people, you're, you're in the line at Starbucks and you, you, you talk to somebody and maybe, maybe an in, this is one of these examples that I, that I was using today. I could go to, not me, but you, I'm saying you, <laughs> someone with pretty hair uh, can go in line at Starbucks, be sitting there and you don't know how to approach this person, but you know, they need the product. You know, you know, if you ask them, like if you ask them to take a picture, hey, you know what? I think I got a really good hair day. Can you please take a picture of me? Uh, I need to get a selfie in this spot right here. The lighting is fantastic. You could ask them that question. They're instantly going to be going like this with their own hair. They're going to be covering up whatever they is they hate. I've seen everybody do it. I've seen women do that all the time. Women cover them. They start going like this all the time when they feel like something about them doesn't look great. I think they all look beautiful. I never understand it. They see something that's broke, okay? And they start, they're so self-conscious and it's, it consumes them and you can fix it. You've got the magic way to change their life. You can fix it for them. And I want you to fix it for them. I, I want you to share this opportunity. I want you on purpose, if you haven't gone out today, when you walk out that door, every single one of you, I want you to be a billboard. This means for the next 365 days, because that's what we're, that's when we're going to say we were successful. For the next 365 days, when you walk out that door, you are a billboard for your business, not for Monet. You might have some Monate gear on, not, not there. You're going to advertise your hair so that you have the opportunity. Every single person you meet, I want to see a show of hands. Every single person you meet, do you find a way to connect with them? If you're in line at Starbucks, if they're selling, if they're your waitress, if they're handing you their bag of food at McDonald's, did you find a way to be remembered by them and connect with them and eventually have an opportunity to sell them shampoo. Every single person you meet. I don't want you to miss a single one. I want you to be fearless. Your why is too important to not be fearless. Be fearless. I'm gonna tell you the gift that my daughter Brittany has is she is fearless. When that kid was going, growing up uh, in high school, she never had any money in her pocket, but she could always go and get some French fries anywhere she went for free. I don't know how she did it. She, and this girl was addicted to French fries. Don't get me, don't get me started. And I know she you know, she's probably laughing her butt off. She is addicted to French fries and she would get free fries everywhere she went. That doesn't happen by accident. She just closed that person. When you're in line at Starbucks and the person in front of you or behind you looks like that kind of person that you'd like to know better and maybe help them with their products, you can, uh, you should be fearless. You should close them. In fact, Every single person you come in contact with, somebody is closed. There's a closing that happens. You either close them or they closed you. They said, they said no before you even opened your mouth. That was a cute kiss, Gretchen, by the way. <laughs> um, anyways, so... So that's what you do. I want you to be in line. I want you to outthink yourself. I was thinking about this. I don't know who it was. Somebody told me this in Monations, but they carry around a, a, a Rejuvenique oil, oil bottle, Gretchen. I think she rubbed that oil on probably 100 to 200 people when she ran into them. You know, you could be in line at Starbucks and you go, oh my, you talk out loud to yourself. Oh my God, my hands, I can't believe how dry they are. Take out your little oil, go boink, 
Rub your hands together. Do you think anybody noticed what you just did? The bus driver texted me. I gave him my information. The bus driver wants to know about the business. It's a man. So you never I'm know. telling you, I'm never telling know. you guys, every single person, start to think that way. You are a billboard. Your hair and your skin represents, and the, even the wellness, are. it's obvious to represent your skin and hair. Make it look amazing. Walk in with the intention that everybody you bump into, you're going to look for an in to open that conversation. I told you the number one thing, the only thing you do in this business is share the business. That is the only thing. Everything else, everything else you do, maybe gives you knowledge to share the business, maybe gives you a funnel of people to share the business. You talk about attraction, attraction marketing, you know, the Instagram people that get their following up to 15,000, 20,000, whatever it is. And then they basically shake their hair and people buy shampoo. That is a form of attraction marketing. All it did was build a relationship with a person by showing them your life and your experiences. That's all it's doing. It's touching base with them in a familiar way. They kind of like you and they eventually they get connected with you enough. They go, oh my God, if they are using that, I got to use that. And they're very successful at it. When I do the seventies list, most of what we do in the seventies list is about getting that fun of people to build up new people into, I don't know who the heck you are to Oh my gosh, you, you might meet my next best, next best friend. It's the same example as attraction marketing. It might take a little longer. For the old bald guy, it takes a little longer, a lot longer. <laughs> I didn't say that on stage. <laughs> I, might have, I might have hinted that it's harder. <laughs> but the reality is, that's what it is, that you are going to, you're going to build a funnel of people. Why? Because you're going to share with them. And when you share with them, you are going to go to close. You're not going to go, oh, well, what did you think? Screw that. You're not in it for what do you think. You're in it for now that I've given you all the information and cleared up all your obstacles, are you ready to be my partner and travel to Vegas with me? I'm going to tell you right now, the person you get today can go to Miami with you. There's no reason why they can't go to Miami. They got to get to MMB. That's it. What an incentive you have right now. Get to Miami. Get to Vegas. That's what you can do. And it's all about building, having that funnel of people and then sharing the opportunity to you have great hair, great skin. Great wellness. Sorry, Canada. I'm going to tell you, it is freaking phenomenal. And I'm so, I wish you guys had a nicer government. <laughs> that, I'm not blaming Monet on this one, guys. <laughs> we already know what your government did with COVID, keeping you all locked up there when you could have been in Atlanta with us. Oh, my God. But we're carrying the momentum right out of Atlanta right to you right now today. We aren't going to stop. I'm not, I refuse to let any of you give up on the decision you're going to make today. Okay. So, so it's about, I said, being the billboard, sharing. <clears throat> I talked about being fearless, find your openings. The other part is, I talked about this a little bit about why you're doing it. I want you to care for human beings enough to get over your fear and share with them. They're, they walked out of the house looking like they did. If they need the shampoo, <laughs> do them a favor. <laughs> care enough about them. <laughs> um. So there's a ton of great advice popping up into the chat. Make sure you uh, read through that. Um, and at the end, I'll tell you if anybody wants to share some tidbits, um, I'll give you an opportunity to do that. 
Um, so, so that's what I want you to do. We talked about uh, sharing, knowing your work schedule and sharing. Now that you know your work schedule and you know what your work is, keeping that funnel full, sharing. What is your plan? And I'm going to tell you, when I talk about working with your team, don't get lost working with your team. Don't get lost. you working with your team consists of what I'm just going through here. They've got to decide. They've got to commit to a schedule that they are going to rock because they want their decision. They want their why bad enough. They are going to get up and make it happen because it's they are done waiting to be successful. So I want you guys to do this. I want you guys to do all of this with your teams, everything that I'm talking about. So when you talk about, well, where did I fit my team in this? That's where you fit them in. You do exactly what I'm doing to you with your teams. I want them all. Uh, but then I want you to move on to your plan. So what does your plan look like, right? What your plan's gonna look like, I'll try to do this and hopefully you can see this. Um, that's a blank piece of paper. That's what you start every good plan. And then this is going to be you. And let's say, let's say today you're an MM. Let's say you hit MM. Maybe not every time. Maybe it's a struggle to hit MM. But let's say you hit MM, MM last time. What does it take to get to Miami for an MM? Does anybody know? Can somebody tell me? I, I, don't, I don't remember that part. <laughs> Two blocks, two blocks. Okay, thank you, thank you. It takes two blocks. Okay, what does it take to get to Cancun for an MM? It takes getting to MMM. So if you're an MM, you've got an MMB here and an MMB here. And how many active lines is it, guys? Is it one MM? Uh, I don't, I wish I would have looked it back up. I think it's just two, two MMBs and maybe some active lines, four active lines maybe total. That sound about right. Anybody, anybody, any MM want to tell me? Yes, they said yes. Okay, so two of these people are MMBs. What does it take to have MMB? MMB is 5,000, takes 5,000 GV, right? Aaron, you need one MMB and two AMM lines and four active lines. AMM for MM? For MMM. Yeah, I know, I know, I, I'm, I'm MM right now. Okay, oh. so if you're, you're MM, it's two MMBs. Okay, so you're gonna write this down. You're gonna write the requirements down. When you get your, when this person is MMB, his GV will be 5,000. But I'm gonna tell you a secret, okay? You have another goal that you're going to talk to this person about. You're going to talk to them about their, their decision. You're going to talk to them about the, what it is they want to achieve. You're going to come back to your list here and say, do you want Vegas? They want Vegas. They want Vegas. Do they want Miami? You're going to talk to them. They have to hit AMM to get to Miami. So what is it they want? Well, let's, let's think about that. If their goal is... Vegas and Miami, that person has two MMPs and two more active lines, okay? To be MMB, they have to have 5,000 GV. For this MMP, they need 1,200. This person needs 1,200. You're a good leader. You are going to inspire this person to have a goal to get to Vegas and inspire these two people with them to get to Vegas. What does that mean? That means this person's going to have 1,200. This person's going to have 1,200 plus two active lines, right? This is, the, this is how you figure out your plan, okay? So they're going to be 1,200, 1,200 plus two active lines. So that's 200 and 200. This GV is not just 1,200. It's going to be 1400 or 1600. 1600. Okay. This one will be 1600. If you're inspiring people and you're working with them to drive them to their goals. So 
So now instead of seeing 5,000 here, oh, by the way, this guy up here wants to hit Vegas as well, right? So they're going to want 1,200 PV. You start adding it up. The next thing you know, you got 1,600, 1,600, two active lines, 200 and 200. So it's 32, 34, 35, 36, 37, 3,700 down here, 1,200 up here, you're back to about 5,000. So you just got this guy to 5,000 GV. This guy, you're going to do the same approach with. You're going to get to 5,000 GV. This, this MM, as an MM, you have to have 5, 000, uh, 7,000 GV. That means outside of these two legs, you need to have enough GV to equal 7,000. Okay, so if I take 5,000, 5,000, 7,000, I am at 16,000 GV. Okay, but if you're hitting MM, you've got an organization probably with another couple MMPs, whatnot, you're getting to 30,000, right? And you can look at your organization and figure out how you're getting 30,000 and how do you make it bigger? How you make it bigger is, does this person have an AMM goal to get them to Miami? Does this person have an AMM goal to get them to Miami? Suddenly their AMM requirement is an MMB down here plus another MMP. Everybody wants Vegas. So they all hit 1200. AMM needs a 5,000 GB on its own. You start adding it up. The next thing you know, you're blowing away this 30,000 30, number. You can, on a piece of paper, you can draw yourself what are the requirements of my organization to go from 30,000 GV to this part grows because they want Vegas and they want Miami? That increases that organization. And then you show them this way, you come up with the plan. And when I say come up with the plan, then you work it. Then you work every day and you reach out to people every day and you have them reach out to people every day. Just break it down like this. So it doesn't feel like, oh my God, how do I get to MMM? How in the world will I get to MMM? Instead, you have a written down plan that somebody here has a goal that they want to dream bigger for. Someone here has a goal they want to dream bigger for. And it all adds up to you hitting your goal. So I want you to write this down. I want you to write your plan down for whatever your goal is. I was talking to some people and I go, um, you're an MM and you want to hit director. That's only 120,000 in volume. I say that like it's only. But if you, if you are working every day and those key people in your organization are working every day to hit these goals and they are motivated and they are motivated by Vegas, Miami, Cancun, walking on the stage or Cadillac. And their why, you've connected with them and their why is inspired to never let them quit. Now is the time. So now is the time. So what I want you to do is I want you to inspire them to meet their goals, inspire them to work every day, and write down what it looks like. Because the key to writing it down, and Patty just said she, she did a great training on uh, in Market Partner Official on the structure of MM and how to get there. But the key, to, the key is recognizing that your plan involves them. They don't, they're not part of your plan. You don't go to them and say, hey, I want to hit MMM. I need you to hit AMM. No, you just talk to them. What is it they're, what do they want? Do they want Vegas? They want Miami? They want Cancun? What do they want? Are they willing to get their past their why? Are they willing to get over themselves? Are they willing to lose themselves to get everything they've ever wanted? And once they are, you can put their name here. You can figure out what they're going to get for you. And you can work with them and inspire them every week. Okay. And so what I'm recommending is you take these plans you physically write them all down. I'm terrible at pictures, by the way. Sorry about that, guys. 
but you write them all down. I trust Patty's got a great one in her trading, uh, but you write them all down. And then you've got a collection of MA, market partners you're working with. I want you to meet with them every week. Not, not just a meeting. And I know you might chat with them all day long. You might meet with them at different times. I want you to meet with them. I want you to have a goal that every Sunday, every Saturday, whatever schedule works for you, you guys get together and you share how you did this week. How are your reach outs this week? How is your 70 list? Did you fill it out? Did you get what you need? Did you add new people? Did you share the opportunity? Do you need help? We need to do a three-way with that one. Did you learn anything super cool when you reached out to somebody in Starbucks and you made, you were able to get a sale. Everybody can learn from that. I want you to meet weekly with them and I want you to have that discussion with them about their 70s, their, their, their plan. You saw, you've already done the plan. You reviewed a plan with them because you're gonna have them do that tomorrow. And then you're gonna, every, every week, you're gonna have that conversation, every week. And it's not about, you know, I got to tell you right now, it's not about, don't show up feeling bad you didn't do work. I'm not your boss, but I know what you want in your heart. If you didn't do work, you lost sight for a day on, um, on what, is it, what it is important. Maybe you lost sight for a whole week. I don't want you to lose sight for a whole week. If you feel like you're stuck, you're, you're, you're floundering, watch one of those videos. Go do some personal development and figure out how to, what speaks to you to get you back on track. Go listen to Mel. Go listen to uh, Ed Milet. They were amazing. They, they riled my, me right up. Watch. Go, go, go do a, a search. Those videos... If you're in my power hour, I played another video that was pretty amazing. And uh, I think this one was really, this one really got to me, the one I just played for you guys. But I found that today just by looking. I didn't have to hunt for it for long. Where do you want the truck? Here? Yeah. What? Sally, what? I didn't know if somebody was trying to talk to me okay we're gonna move on if you've got a question let me know okay um so when you meet with them weekly i want to make sure you review you guys talk about the reach outs they did what did they struggle with did they were they in line at starbucks and they didn't do the job Five, four, three, two, one. Go back to that. Remind them. It's very simple. It's easy to remember. Did they wake up in the morning, remember their why, and high five themselves in the mirror? Let's do that. This is what you do. You want to keep yourself on fire with the activities that we're talking about. Guys, I think it's as simple as that. I'll open it up to anybody who has some suggestions or ideas they want to add. Um, unmute yourself and try to not cause mayhem, but <laughs> anybody want to share anything? You can five, four, three, two, one yourself into sharing something if you want. I think this was incredible um, and very inspiring. Um, somebody did ask a question, like, I am able to talk to strangers, you know, prospects out and about, but I don't know how to get it into a conversation about Monet. So my advice for that is to, first of all, your energy has to be contagious. They need to want to stay around you because of your energy is so good. A lot of people nowadays don't have that. So if you have that really good energy, that's going to make them want to see what you have to say. Um, then it's as simple as um, 
ask, giving them a compliment. When you first start the conversation by giving somebody a, a authentic compliment, their ears get a little bit bigger. They're more willing to listen. They're like, oh, you know, you don't know how long it's been since that person got a compliment. It could be a year they didn't get a compliment. So you could have made that person's day. They're going to feel good. You're going to feel good. Um, and then it's as simple as, hey, you know what? You look amazing. I have a question. Have you ever heard about Monet? Um, ask them that question before going on this bill. One more thing, when you get a compliment, I don't, if it's anything about the way you look, your hair or your skin, simple. Oh, thank you. It's my shampoo. Thank you. It's my skincare. And then they're going to say, what is it? Or you'll say, it's Monet. Have you ever heard of it? Okay. Ask them a question. Don't just go off on giving them a whole paragraph. Okay. Um, that's all my, my tips for that. Thank, thanks. Thanks, Britt. Um, I did want to say one more thing that I missed to, I missed saying, and I think if you all joined the call with, um, with Monet right before this one, they harped on it a bit, but I want to say this, and this is with all sincerity, that team of people that you're going to meet with, with the seventies list, I don't care if it's virtual or not. I want you to have events. I want you to five, four, three, one yourself into having events. I want you to, I want you to host it. I don't care if it's in your house with four people. You heard Stuart say the first one he went to, three people. Uh, Christina, Christine, watch more YouTube. Search for ways to get your energy back. I guarantee anybody want to tell me if they felt energy like crazy after the, the opening of this, this uh, training? That's all you need, Chris. Christine, I do it every day. You know what's great about it? You start looking for stuff and you probably watch about three before you land on the one you want to watch and you've already got the energy. Oh, and one more thing, how to close that lead. So after you say it's this, have you heard of it? The next thing you're going to say is, would you like a sample? It's incredible. Um, and then, then you will exchange social media and their phone number. You get both. If they don't have social media, fine. What's your number? I would love to send you a sample. You're going to love it. And then ask them, if you could change anything about your hair, what would it be? What shampoo are you using? Simple as that. Keep it simple. That's how you get their info. And then you got to go. Leave. That's all. You don't. Once you get that, you stop talking. You leave. Great tips, Brittany. And like I said, she is fearless. She does that all the time. And I, I want you all to be doing that. So, but I want you to get events, have an event, get them scheduled, have them regularly, that your little team of people you're meeting with that are going to be part of your plan. And they're, you know, if they're a big enough organization, they should be having the same meeting with some of their people. I mean, if you're, if it's not that big, you can have it all together and then you can have events. You should be setting up events, brave it. Even in Canada, you can have an event. And I'm going to tell you right now, if not a single prospect shows up. Patty, was it worth my time being in Canada with you guys? Absolutely, 100%. I drove, to, I drove to Canada. There wasn't a single prospect at the event we did. But mm -hmm. I, I walked out of there. I loved every minute of it. You know, and it was yeah. just talking to market partners and it, I loved it. Oh, I, I'll tell you this. If you have an event... You might be surprised if you ask me to come, I might just say yes. I am Mr. Travel these days. I that's am how we out. got you in Chicago. That's right. I got, I, I, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, in the last two months, I've been to Lafayette, Chicago, Philadelphia, Sarnia. I'm going to Iowa. I feel like I did more. I know I did more. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot, but I've every okay, one of them. Baby. I just loved it. I'm Kelly wants to know if you go to Hawaii. Aaron? Would I go to Hawaii? Yeah, Kelly wants to know if you go to Hawaii. Kelly just has to ask me and then she'll find out. <laughs> Open invite. Come to Hawaii. Nope, that doesn't work that way. I'm having, you know how you invite me? I'm having an event on this day or 
which of these days would you be able to join me? You got it. I'll I have set it up event, and I'll reach out. That's right. I have an event scheduled on one of these days or these three days, whatever, this day. And then I can make a decision. I might not be able to make it. I'm certainly not able to travel everywhere. But I will absolutely, you'd be so surprised. I jumped on a plane and went to Philadelphia. I went to Canada because I you heard I could. You guys are okay. I'm going to assume Sally's not talking to me. Again. I don't think Sally knows her mic is on. Oh. I turned it, I turned it off and it got back yeah. on again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So that's, that's it guys. Um, but I have a giveaway to do. So if I can have a helper on here, get ready for, uh, and by the way, I love the events. I want to travel. I want to travel. I am coming to Edmonton by the way. And when I go to Edmonton, I'll be in Calgary. I will let you guys all know that. I said I would come to Oklahoma. So I made a commitment to come there. Um, my daughter lives in Austin. So you guys have a good reason to attract me down there. Um, if there's a poker room nearby you, oh. you have a really good chance of me showing up. <laughs> but either way, I just come out to come see you guys. Okay, so uh, Nikki is going to help me with the the drawing. So if we can do a wheel for wellness or monation 2022 ticket. Okay. Let me flip the camera around here. I got the wheel ready. I think I got everybody. All right. So this is for wellness. Shuffle that up and just one second. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. Nope. Uh, Tammy Lang. Tammy Lang. Tammy, you need to let me know, is it wellness or a Monation 2022 ticket? If someone knows Tammy and she's, she's dropped off, let me know. Did she say wellness? <laughs> By the way, if you're in Canada, I mean, chances are if you're in the States, I'm sending you one wellness product. If you're in Canada, I'm going to send you a lot of wellness. <laughs> so I hope, you're in, <laughs> I hope you're in Canada, Tammy. Okay, the next one is, I'm not even going to do the one-on-one -on -one coaching. That's a free offer for everybody. Um, it's five special commemorative gifts. Okay. So pick, pick five names. Number one. Yeah, I got Maria Quaranta. Oh my God. Quaranta. Maria. Sorry. <laughs> I saw her on here. Congratulations, Maria. All right, number two. You guys are going to like this gift, by the way. Rachel Lauren. Rachel Lauren. Congratulations. Okay, let's see. Number three. Kaylee Ricker. Kaylee Ricker. Thank you, Kaylee, for joining. By the way, I've just decided I'm adding one more gift to the end of this call. So I'll, I'll tell you what it is in a second. Okay. And then we've got number four. <clears throat> Denisha Johnson. Congratulations, Denisha. If we said your name right, if not, I apologize. Yay, she said uh, oh, one yeah. more, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Guys, reach out to me so, right. so I can find you. If your name that showed up in Zoom is a lot like, I'll be able to find it in the back office. I'll find you and I'll find your email and we'll connect if I don't know you. Okay, and then I got Christy. We didn't have a last name on there. So Christy, can you tell us who you are? 
<laughs> Chrissy Kyle. Yay. Okay. Congratulations, Chrissy Kyle. Okay, one more, one more gift. I decided I'm going to give another Monations 2022 out. All right. So one more Monations 2022 out. Because you guys are going to walk across the stage anyways. So I want to see you there. All right, Brandy, Brandy. Ruffton. Monations. Let me write it down here real quick. Brandy, O-U-G-H-T-O. It's actually Routon, but it's all good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, uh, Brandy. We will get you a Monations ticket. If you, if you haven't bought yours, you got one. I promise. I've already bought a pack. Your name is going to be on it. Um, you don't have to worry about it. I was actually going in with Sanja or Brandy Basinger, so... That makes well, me really excited. They we can get somebody else to go. Exactly. That's the fantastic part about that, right? Yep. That's great. Okay, guys. Well, that's what I had for you today. I'm gonna go through everybody's comments, um, probably offline because there were so many. Um, but thank you so much for joining me. Um, I expect I'll be doing this a little bit more um, when we got some more ideas. Let's see how it goes for a week, and I want you guys to. Just stay motivated, do great, work it every day, share every day, keep working guys. I'm here for you guys too. So any, any questions, we got you. All right, Thanks, thank, you guys. thank you guys so much. You guys take care. Merci, Aaron. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, bye. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Sure, bye-bye. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, power hours. How do you get on power hours? Um, the best way, right now since i don't know your name is message me you can get on my power hours i put it in rock stars often not every time but i have a reminders chat it's an amazing chat that has blown up way beyond power hours there's so much information in the chat so much sharing so much support for each other and then i remind you every time i've got a power hour coming up and by the way they're every single day so okay just message me i'll add you to the power hour Please, please message me, Cynthia, okay? Because I, I don't know who, who, which Cynthia you are. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. You guys take care. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks. Bye, bye. 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 bye.